Hey YouTube, Anna here. So I'm here to film my 10 week update. Can't believe I'm at 10 weeks already. It's crazy. Um, so I kind of have a lot to go over symptom wise and just things that have happened in this week. Um, starting with symptoms, I've had cramping, like pms -y type cramps. I think a bit duller than actual PMS cramps, just like achy. I have an achy uterus. I don't know how to like properly describe my cramps. Mild cramps, that's what I should say. <laughs> um, I've been leaking colostrum and even some milk. Um, not consistently and not like I don't have to wear breast pads right now, which is good. Um, I kind of feel like I, I will eventually, um, probably sooner than later, because once I hit second trimester, I'm going to talk to my midwife about pumping and hopefully pumping twice or three times a day to get like a huge supply of colostrum and milk in for the new baby. So hopefully if I do have to supplement, I can supplement with my own breast milk, which just wasn't an option with Cecilia. I know I had a few instances of leaking with Cecilia when I was pregnant, but I didn't actually like collect that or like pump or anything. I didn't even have a pump until like a week before she was born. So, um, so yeah. And now I have like my double electric breast pump from CC. And then I also have a hand pump, which helped me so much getting clogged ducts unclogged. <laughs> so if you're thinking like, oh, it's not worth getting, it totally was for me. Um, so anyway, um, I get really nauseous when I'm hungry, like to the point where I'm just like mad because I'm so nauseous and I'm so hungry. Um, but things have been going pretty decently. Like I've only been like crazy hungry and nauseous like maybe two to three times this past week. So not like terrible. Um, let's see, I've had crazy breakouts. Thank the Lord for makeup because every time I, <laughs> I leave the house, I mean, I live in a small town, so like I run into people I know all the time, but crazy breakouts, just like five up here, a ton here, ton around my lips. I have like symmetrical <laughs> pimples on my lips. Um, ton at my neck, like just breakouts. Oh, it's insane. Um, I've had some like pulling and stretching um, as my uterus is growing. So I've had a few of those. I've been doing prenatal yoga since week six and at week six I was like oh yeah I can kind of do this you know I'm not pushing myself and I'm you know just kind of slowly getting into the whole yoga I remember <laughs> I took yoga classes in college I got college credit for doing yoga it was awesome anyway so <laughs> I took a bunch of yoga classes and a bunch of dance classes actually but specifically with yoga I was like okay there's certain positions that I'm just not flexible to get into but everything else was comfortable and now that I'm older <laughs> like like much older <laughs> than 20 <laughs> um those positions that I was like, these are easy and simple to get into. I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> so I sort of struggled like regaining my balance and my composure while doing yoga. Um, I also got very dizzy doing yoga in the beginning. And so I would sort of like really tone down my movements. But I found this girl on YouTube. Her channel is, I think, Tonic and she has pregnancy yoga series and she's British and I love her and I'll link her channel below. <laughs> you guys should definitely check out her yoga. Um, it's nice 30 minute chunks and she like starts on the ground and then moves up or you know vice versa but there's not a whole lot of like up down up down up down where I get like really dizzy and 
I've noticed this past week that I'm able to do more. Um, my legs feel stronger. I'm able to like really get into the meat of it. Like I can feel my strength, which is awesome. So that's been helping. I feel like with the pulling and the tugging. Um, I've also had stuffy nose, which I felt with Cecilia. Um, so like congested always. That's pretty much how I feel. I'm also <laughs> terrified of catching the flu this season. I know two or three people who, excuse me, got the flu. Um, and I'm, I've never actually had the flu, um, or at least I haven't had it diagnosed. I got really sick in college my freshman year, um, but I didn't go see a doctor. <laughs> um, and I just like rested and drank a bunch of fluids and then I was fine like four days later. Um, so probably not the flu, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's probably the sickest I've ever been. And then I generally just catch whatever cold is floating around. Like I'm very susceptible to getting any kind of cold that's out there. Um, so I'm really nervous about getting the flu, even though I had my flu shot. <laughs> and I know one person actually had the flu shot and got the flu. So I'm scared. Um, okay. I don't think I mentioned this. Um, in last week's video, or the week before, I'm not sure, um, Valentine's Day. So previously I told my husband, please do not buy me chocolate. Like, I want to be good and like eat better and like all this stuff. So I told him like no candies and he stuck to that. He got me beautiful flowers and a beautiful car that was funny and yeah, so he listened to me and then like a couple days before Valentine's Day, I was like, I'm gonna make myself chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> That's terrible. Anyway, so I bought all the supplies to make these chocolate covered strawberries and you have to like do a double boil where you have like your glass bowl in a pan that has water boiling in it and then you put your chips your uh, chocolate chips in the bowl and then so i had like a white chocolate and a dark chocolate station um actually i had a yogurt it was like a vanilla yogurt chips and dark chocolate so anyway so i had those in their respective saucepans double boiling and i had this little vent um, it was like an insert steamer that I put in one and that was sort of letting the the steam vent out of the saucepan which you're supposed to do and in the other one <laughs> I had a silicone non slide <laughs> the words are not coming um, mat that I like folded up and sort of stuck in there so it would vent and I didn't realize that that wasn't actually silicone <laughs> it was just plastic so I'm melting my chips and I walk away to throw something away and like washing the strawberries. I throw something away and I'm like, look into my um, dining room and I see smoke. Cece was in bed, <laughs> Doug was doing taxes. Like, and I'm like, why is it smoky in here? And then I turn back around to the oven to the stove and the plastic is on fire on the stove so I'm like oh holy crap <laughs> I'm like what do I do so I open windows and start screaming for Doug like <laughs> he's like my go-to rescue man so I was like Doug and he was like what like he's kind of annoyed that I'm screaming and Cece's asleep and I'm like Doug fire <laughs> like it was so weird it wasn't like a giant plume of flames or anything but it was just like a fire on the stove and so I was like what do I do and <laughs> I was like Ugh. I opened windows that's what I did and then Doug came over and I had turned off the burner okay so there's my one smart move that I <laughs> I did. I did turn off the gas stove so there wasn't like live flame <laughs> happening around it. There you go. Um, I'm useful in some situations. Not fires apparently. Um, and so Doug was like, oh is this off? And he's like, okay good it's off. Um, 
and then he was like gonna cover it and then he was like I'm just gonna blow on it and he blew out the flame like it was not like a huge deal at all I ruined of course the plastic and I like melted the plastic to the saucepan um, which Doug recovered thank god and um, you know melted plastic around my burner but we got that all cleaned up I could not believe like how I didn't even check like I'm I don't cook that often <laughs> can you tell um but I'm usually very careful especially around like gas stoves and flames and stuff like that like I take safety very seriously <laughs> and yeah and then that happened I was like oh my god I shouldn't be allowed to cook like at all like don't don't ask me to cook anything because I'm terrible at it. Um, so yeah, started a small little house fire. Um, <laughs> oh, and the chocolate covered strawberries came out wonderful, by the way. <laughs> um, I doubt that I'll be doing that ever again. Just FYI. Um, this past week, I had my first full-on hysterical pregnancy freak out. Like, I could not control my emotions, which, like, I'm an emotional person, I'm very, like, animated, and, like, whatever, I'm loud, I laugh a lot, that's usually, like, the scent of it. Um, my husband went to go pick up dinner, um, and I ordered chicken nachos. <laughs> And it came, and I, I texted him because my order has been wrong at this place before. So I said, I texted him, check it before you come. And he did not, and it came without chicken. And so I was kind of just like mad that it didn't come with chicken, and he didn't check it. So I was just like pissed. Um, <laughs> and then I went, and I, so I ate like just the soggy chips with no protein in them. Um... And he's like, I'm sorry, you know, he said chicken nachos when he gave them to me and like, I just didn't think about it, sorry, I thought you meant this, blah. And I was like, he's being so nice and so apologetic. <laughs> and so I went into the other room and we had a box of Samoas that we've had for a week or so. And there was like three left. Maybe there was two left. I don't know, I ate all but one. So there's one left in the box. And I had eaten like, the entire box <laughs> like over the course of this week um so I've been eating Samoa's like crazy and I left one for myself later and Doug comes into the other room I'm like sitting down trying to forget about the like missing chicken on my nachos like a crazy pregnant lady um and then he comes in eating the last Samoa he's like I had the last cookie and I just was like are you kidding me and then started crying <laughs> like a crazy pregnant person like I don't know I really am not this insane about food like ever <laughs> but I was like you eat the last one and he's like I haven't had any other ones I'm like I don't care I'm pregnant <laughs> like I just went crazy um and then I proceeded, I was texting my best friend because he immediately left to go get me a box of Samoas. Because um, <laughs> I'm crazy, I'm just crazy. Um, and I was texting my best friend while he was gone and I was like, I just went full freak out, like pregnant woman monster. Um, and she's like, ha ha ha, and then reminded me about how I went crazy on him when I was pregnant with Cece about a toilet paper roll being hung the wrong way. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, well, in my defense, I'm always like that. <laughs> like, and I didn't cry about it either. <laughs> this one was like full tears, could not stop crying. I'm texting her still crying. Like he's fixing the problem, still crying. Oh, it was, I was hysterical. It was like, it's funny now not so funny on the day of and later that night I apologized to him for just crying at him like I was mad and angry and pissy and then I cried at him <laughs> um so I apologized he hasn't said anything about it since I mean he said oh, okay you know thanks and that's it um smart man <laughs> 
Um, I did have, so my crazy dreams were like crazy crazy um, in the very beginning and then they sort of petered out where they were fairly normal. And yesterday I kind of had a weird pregnancy dream again. Um, I had a dream I lived with my dad and he bought me a car and I was trying to park it next to our other car and instead of parking it next to it I was just like scraping the side of the car and my dad was like good job that's how you're supposed to park and it was weird and then I went on this photojournalist assignment for school um yeah and this French woman was like hitting on my brother and my dad and I started yelling at her so I'm like screaming at a French woman like, I don't know, it was weird. Yeah, I screamed at her for being conceited. That's what I wrote in my notes. This has been a weird week. <laughs> um, I met with a bunch of doulas today uh, at in the town that I'm gonna give birth in, and they were awesome. It was like a doula meet and greet, and um, it was, like speed dating like they we had 10 minutes per doula and there was like five doulas or so and they would come through and they'd talk a little bit about like their experience and answer any questions that we had and I was like you know have you attended VBACs um how many births have you attended um and really I just care if they attended VBACs <laughs> um because I really don't want to repeat c-section i want to go forward with a doula and i found two doulas um sorry i'm like burping it's gross anyway i found two doulas that i really really connected with um one had like a little in infertility struggle she had three miscarriages so i'm like i feel like we and she's attended like a hundred births so <laughs> she, and plenty of VBACs and stuff so I feel like that's a good starting place and then there's another woman that I really liked and I mean I like them all they were like all perfectly fine <laughs> um, but there's another woman that I connected with more on like a peer level um, she seemed around my age yeah she seemed around my age um, she was, I don't know, she reminded me of one of my high school friends, actually, who's, like, really calm and really, like, a person that I love and can talk to always. So it was just kind of, like, this nice connection that I had with her. Um, and she's attended many births as well and VBACs, and they all have experience with, um, births at the hospital that I'm going to give birth in. They love my midwife that I have. Um, yeah, so I just, I had a really good experience with them. Now, that being said, the only downside to this doula speed dating is that I was exhausted by the end of it. Like, didn't want to talk, <laughs> which I feel really bad for that last doula because I was like, I have no questions. <laughs> Like, she, I mean, I asked her X, Y, and Z, like, do you do this, that, and the other thing? And then she answered, and then I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> like, I just gave up. Um, and Doug was with me, Cece was with me. Also, like, how they interacted with Cecilia um, really sort of, like, played into what I wanted in a, in a doula. Like, are you going to welcome this? family into like the whole birth situation and yeah and so I feel like a couple of them really stood out for me and there's one lady who was awesome with Cecilia and she is more like postpartum care and placenta encapsulation so I was like oh yeah I will get in contact with you because I, you know, ate my placenta <laughs> with CC. I know it sounds really gross, but I encapsulated it myself. It was a long process for me, and I don't think I had the right tools for it. And so it took a lot longer than I expected. And so I don't want to do that again. I feel like if I hand that off to somebody else to do and I don't have to deal with it at all, that's awesome. That's what I want.
Like, <laughs> I, I'd rather pay the extra money and not have to deal with it and just get a nice bottle of pills to take for the next few months. So, I'm probably going to contact her. Anyway, so that was my whole nine week spiel. <laughs> um, my belly's growing a little bit. I'm starting to like, well, I've been in maternity pants for a couple of weeks now just because they, the pressure like on my belly feels terrible in regular pants. So I'm like, nope, maternity. And like, if you recognize this shirt, I wore the shirt with Cecilia's um, pregnancy and I'm like happy to be in it because it's flowy and it covers my belly. And that's the thing with like, my regular shirts not all of them cover the belly or like cover the band where you can see because I have like the full panel maternity pants on right now they're so comfy um yeah so I'm in maternity clothes I am so happy to be 10 weeks oh the Doppler so I use the Doppler at nine weeks and I swore I could hear it just a little bit like for a few seconds. Um, it didn't register as a number on my Doppler, but I'm thinking that this tonight will probably use the Doppler again. And I'm sure, like I'm positive, that we'll, we will hear a heartbeat, which will be like a week earlier than I did with Cecilia, which is awesome. Okay guys, that is officially the end. <laughs> I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye.